All right, week 12, you've done it. Um, okay, our last week on biology, which is what? The study of living organisms and their vital processes. So today we are just doing a visual project to look at the kingdoms of living things. So again, you wanna start with your background information. What are the classifications of living things? What are the kingdoms of living things? Animalia, planti, fungi, protista, archaea. Mm, oh, Animalia, planti, fungi, protista, archaea, bacteria. Um, so those are our kingdoms of living things. And today we're going to look at some examples of those. Okay, um, you can also do some review on what we've learned about plants, um, what we've learned about invertebrates versus vertebrates, um, those kind of things, because those will all be a part of our project. To do the actual project, um, you will be given a poster board. I didn't go ahead and make one because I um, can't see it here anyways. So you'll be given a full-size poster board. I will have labeled it for you um, according to our guide. This, I've drawn out some different ways and this really is just the most precise way. You'll have the kingdoms on the side and then kind of some um, breaking up parts from there to organize it. Um, it will not have all of these descriptions here though, but you have your guide. So the poster board will be organized for you. Your part, um, We've done this before and we tried to have students bring anim, um, animal plant pictures and it really is difficult to get very many bacteria, protista, fungi, kite pictures. So Nicoleum has come to the rescue again and has all of these gorgeous pictures on CC Connected um, for us to make our life easy. So thank you for that. Um, so what you're going to do is, um, I have given all of my tutors these. You're going to cut them out before you come on week 12. You are then going to take, so take this one, for example, our plantae. Um, and this is the plantae non-seed bearing. So you have seed bearing and non-seed bearing. Put them in a Ziploc bag that says plantae non-seed bearing. Set them to the side. Get another Ziploc bag and make... This one's list. Um, animalia invertebrates. Label your bag, put it to the side. Do the second one because you have all of these. And trust me, I have done this before where I just cut them all out. And then a kid says, Which one's this? And I'm like, It's a plant, but I don't know if it produces seeds or not. <laughs> so um, label your bags, cut them all out. That will take you um, 15 minutes or so in your prep time. So please have all of those cut out in labeled Ziploc bags, and then I will have your poster organized for you. So we'll have a team effort. And then when you're there with the kids, you're gonna have your poster in front of you. You have all your little baggies. I would just randomly draw out of them, not let them see your labeled baggies. And you know, have child A, where do you think this goes in our kingdoms? All right, what's well, a plant? Do you think it's seed bearing or non seed bearing? Looking at it, all right, it goes here. Um, next, child B, you get the next one and just go down the line. You may have them sit around you or stand around a table because um, we're working as a group um, on this project. And it actually takes longer than you think to go through all of these. Um, and if they disagree, you know, have a vote. Who says this goes in the vertebrates, animalia, or who says this is in, excuse me, invertebrate? Um, and so work together as a group in creating this beautiful visualization of the kingdoms of living things. You'll have glue sticks, so you can just glue them in their different areas. So we'll have a final project um, to, um, to show all of our hard work. Um, so again, kids around you, group project, prep these ahead of time. I will prep your, board, your post boards ahead of time and we're making this beautiful variety of the kingdoms of living things. And then just to kind of the punch to leave it, you know, what is the purpose? Why are we doing this? Well, one is to learn kingdoms of living things. Um, but as you look at this poster of all these beautiful colors, these gorgeous things, what are these things looking at all this variety? What does this tell us about God? 
Um, you know, we see all these various things he's created, even these funky, slimy, weird looking things. Um, even, you know, Archaea and Protista, these microorganisms. What do they tell us about God? If you were the creator of all these things, what would that tell us about your character, about who you are? Um, you know, we, again, in Romans 1.20, it says all of creation, we can see God's glory so that we are without excuse. When we look at this poster of all of these creations, and this is just a tiny sliver of what's out there in this world, let alone the cosmos, but it shows us God's glory. Take this time, take a few minutes just to point these kids and ourselves back to the Lord to honor him for his creativity, for his intelligent design in all of these things and how they feed off of one another, how they need each other in their life cycles um, and how God made that all happen. That is not a mistake. They did not all come from the same thing. There's variety and diversity. Um, and that's beautiful in the kingdom of God. When we look at God's, the kingdom of God, all of these classification kingdoms are within. And God looks at that with joy. He looks on diversity with joy. That is his plan. Um, you know, not all slimy things are supposed to look alike. Not all humans are supposed to look alike. Um, he created us with a genetic makeup to create this diversity in the diverse world that we live in. Um, and that's beautiful in his eyes. So reinforce that idea that we can see God's glory. We can see his power. We can see his hand, his intelligent design on all of these things. And that he loves the, vari the variety. He loves the diversity. And that all has purpose. Um, everything is fearfully and wonderfully made by our creator. Um, even things that look different than, um, than what's within our world. Um, and in Ephesians 4, it says, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you've received. Be humble and gentle. Be patient. Bear with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. When we can see God's glory in creation, when we can see his hand in diversity and in the kingdoms that he has made on earth reflect the kingdom of his love, um, then we are planting seeds that I pray will grow and grow into the future generations. Thanks.